Here are our simple tips on how you can make more sales through networking. Hey, Rob Spence here, the Managing Director of Paragon Sales Solutions, and welcome to another of our weekly videos where we showcase to you various hints, tips, advice, and support on everything to do with sales, marketing, and business growth. And this week, let's talk networking or business networking. Now, if you're a salesperson, if you're a business owner, the likelihood of it is you've either heard of business networking or you've been to networking or you hate networking. It's very rare for a salesperson or a business owner to have not been to an event. And for me, I found that networking has been crucial to the success of our business here at Paragon Sales Solutions. I'm not scared to admit to, admit to you, when we started the business, we had 300 pound in the business account. We now turn over six figures annually. And the majority of the time, that's because of the networks and the relationships that we've developed. So if you are networking, then make sure you do. Now, for some people, the reason they don't make sales through networking is because they think of networking as a transactional piece of marketing. They think by going to one networking event, they're gonna make a sale in that event. And that sale in that event will help pay for that event itself, but no. That's not how it works. And in this tip, this video, we've got four tips on my screen here that I want to share with you as to how you can make more sales through your business networking. But before we go on, stop, have a little look around the screen you've got in front of you. Find that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment below with the word networking. We'd love to know who's watching this video. Now, the first tip is to connect with the right people and find the networking events and groups that suit you. There's are, there are an array of business networking groups out there from very small ones that are for free ones that cost you know thousands of pounds per year and you've got to slaughter a goat or something to get in and you must wear a badge all year round say that you're a member and you put on a traffic light system or, or whatever but there's different kinds of networking events and each of them bring their own values each of them bring with their own cons and it's all about finding the right ones for you no one can say to you what will work and what won't work for your business my tip is to try them all go to them give them a go find the ones that work find the ones that don't work once you find the ones that work invest a lot of your time there but don't always devalue the ones that didn't work just because it didn't work the first time around doesn't mean it won't work on the second or third time my second tip is to always use social media and we can use social media before and after the event my recommendation is before the event be a bit stalky walky, okay? Have a look on Facebook, have a look on LinkedIn. Who's gonna be attending this event? Who can you connect with? Who can you start a conversation with? Hell, if you can't start a conversation with, who can you connect with so that when you're there at the event, you've got something to talk about? You're not there, oh, what, what would you do? Oh, great. You've got a bit more of a stance of saying, hey, connect with you on LinkedIn the other day, I see you've been doing some great work with this charity. Tell me all about that. Boom, you're a bit more assertive. Of course, after the event, make sure you connect with these people on LinkedIn and social media. Make sure that conversation happens long after the networking event. Which brings me to my next um, tip, which is to follow up how many times have you been to a networking event to never see or hear from the people that you're in that room with ever again. You've wasted the chance, you've wasted the opportunity, they've wasted the opportunity as well. I always make a stance, I collect business cards, I keep and store the business cards, and I also, on the day or the day after the networking event, I send a personalized email to each and every person I had a meaningful conversation with. I try and book in for one-to-ones. Not always trying to look, this, look for the sale, I'm trying to develop those relationships and make sure you follow up. And finally, take advantage of any opportunity that comes your way. Use those big ears on the side of your head. So if you do have big ears, by the way, but I've got big ears so I can say it. Use the ears on the side of your head. It's funny how many times I go to networking events and you see people, they're more than willing to go, I do this, we do this, we're amazing, you should call me, here's my card, blah, 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 boring, right? Use your ears, listen for opportunities. It's amazing how many clues you can pick up in, a, in on a room. Be a detective, listen to what people needs and wants are. Hell, if you can't offer that help and support, make referrals, make introductions, help one another, because all of that will eventually come back to you. Now there's lots of hints and tips I can share with you on how to generate more sales through networking. We own and operate a networking event here at Paragon called the Leicestershire Business Network Group. So trust me, we've done it, we've tried it, and we've tested it. If you want more hands on support with your sales training around networking, head on over to paragonsalesolutions.co.uk and we'd love to show you what we can do. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It's always a pleasure sharing this time with you. 
Thank you so much and keep an eye out on next week's video for more hints and tips. Until then, all the best.